what this conference is going out to do is give us a broad spectrum of education relating to athletes' heart, the ECG and echocardiographic manifestations, how to differentiate them from disease processes and how to manage athletes with these conditions. People should attend these kind of events to get more knowledge on the topic of course and also to meet others who are interested in the topic and, and that could give ideas for further working to, they can do themselves. I think that is a very important uh, educational conference for uh, sport physicians, cardiologists uh, and other people involved in this field. In other words, pathologists overdiagnose ischemic heart disease and then we can miss other cardiomyopathies and channelopathies. Today we had experts throughout Europe and even from the US explaining us about athletic activity, how that does affect the heart, to help us interpret the investigations that we did in athletes. It actually comes down to here, the cost per life you saved, calculated in this study, was 40,000 euro per life you saved, uh, compared to 37,000 if you don't use the ECG. It's useful for the senior people because you learn and you have new ideas, but it's also useful for uh, people who's in training or is doing uh, at the very beginning of uh, their career. Events like this are particularly important because we're, we're really dealing with a niche topic where there's pretty limited experience amongst only a few people around the world, and so an opportunity for those people to get together and bang heads is, is perfect. This one chromosome difference has loads of implications. It's associated with biochemical differences, physiological differences, anthropometric differences, and even psychological differences, all of which have an important impact on how one adapts to exercise. The event is unique because a lot of people from all over Europe come here to meet for two days and uh, discuss new results together with the, the, the practitioners and also with them, uh, um, sports scientists. Sports cardiology in Denmark is quite new and this is a, a perfect opportunity to exchange experiences. Raising awareness is so important because the more we know about the conditions that these youngsters die of, the better we could diagnose and prevent some of these.